do love you, ladies, but you do push our patients. <laughs> I know that. So I, that Max Entertainers Ghost Society, we meet every Tuesday. We meet but tomorrow. We meet it. We play on during the winter as well. And I, I, I'm, people don't phone me before lunchtime. Because <laughs> I usually get up at the crack of noon. <laughs> and I remember I was captain a few years ago and we were saying to Odin and Andy the and we said, Well, we've got to play tomorrow, it said, but we're normally fit playing half ten, but unfortunately the vets at um at Flixton have got a game, so we've got to tee off early. I said, What time? They said, nine o'clock. I said, What, in the morning? <laughs> it's nine o'clock. Well I was captain, so you've got to set up press, you know, I thought, fair enough, captain, show you work lad. <coughs> So I said, all right, then, see you down there. Well, uh, I got up, well, I set me alarm. I set me alarm for about uh, quarter to eight, because it's further out, and I thought, but uh, you know, you wake up just before the alarm goes off. You know, you do that sometimes, you can't. And I woke up, I thought, oh, and I stopped it, so I wouldn't wake up, because I didn't want to disturb my lovely wife, who was slumbering to the side of me, because I'm considerate I am. So I got up, it was bloody freezing. Honestly, it was November it were. And I got up, and I got up, you know, the sun was just rising. <coughs> Frost all over the place. I thought, oh, yeah, I can't cope with this. So I, mean, I got my clothes, went into the spare room, got a shower there, got changed, went downstairs, made my own breakfast. Yeah. <laughs> Crunching up cornflakes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I do, I do. So, and then I got the car, and I let the car roll, I did turn the engine on, because I didn't want to wake up, because I'm considerate time. Let the roll down to the bottom, and then started. I've got to the club. We did it on the first tee, snow started to fall. I said, hey, I'm sorry, but, hey, I don't mind your frost, but not snow as well. Captain's prerogative will call it off, all right. Well, I'll go on out there. So I went up, parked the car at the bottom of the drive, because it's still early. Parked up of the drive, didn't run it up the drive, because I didn't want to wake her. Went upstairs, let myself in. I'm going upstairs, undressing myself so I don't disturb again and it. Freezing my, it was absolutely freezing. I get up there, went in, didn't turn the light on, walked around the side of the bed, lifted it up slowly, start naked, and I'm freezing, and I ease my backside, and my back just caught her back, and she went, ooh. I said, I'm sorry, but I said, it's bloody freezing out there. She said, yeah, and that silly bugger's gonna play in golf. <laughs> Indeed, you've been a great crowd. I'll leave you with two thoughts. Mums and dads always look after your kids because they will be the ones to decide which home you're going in. <laughs> and secondly, and more important of all, may you all live long enough to see the end of the sale at DFS. <laughs> Good night, God bless. Thank you for coming.